Welcome to Life Her Podcast, the podcast that guides you from the nine to five grind to the freedom of your own path. Discover how to conquer life's challenges while pursuing your passions with unwavering faith. Because being an entrepreneur is not easy. So let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to Life Her Podcast. I'm Yvette Lloyd and I would love to thank you guys for tuning in tonight for this amazing conversation that I have coming up. I want to talk about navigating entrepreneurship while grieving and how it could be so challenging. And I feel like it's very important to address the emotions and the toll that it could take, especially when the risk of like falling into depression is present and a lot of people really don't take that time out for themselves or they give up on their business it's just so many different types of emotions and so many different types of grief that you will actually encounter while doing it because a lot of people grieve differently and one of the things that i did for myself was I really had a hard time grieving and actually showing it. So me showing it was actually me drowning myself in work and actually hiding it um, behind the scenes because I always wanted to show a lot of strength. I always wanted to show a lot of encouragement and everything. And that's always just been me. However, what I didn't realize is that my mother had done that all her life. Uh, when it came to raising me and my brother, I never knew when my mom was struggling. I never knew when she needed so much support into her personal life until I actually analyzed and saw myself acting the same way she was. And I'm sitting here like, man, she may have been grieving at that time. And I know she had to be at that at that moment. So it created me to actually unpack a lot of things that I were hiding on my feelings and emotions. And it caused me to take a break. And the break that I took was so needed because it made me step into another level into my entrepreneurship life when it comes to me actually running my business and me snapping out of things because I was putting that like completely last like really, really last. And the fact that I wasn't able to acknowledge my grief personally, um, you had to give yourself permission to feel your emotions without the judgment of grief in in a complex of processing that it doesn't follow a timeline. And so it's very important for you to allow the grief to like fully recognize as parts of your healing journey. And when you're dealing with something like that, it's like you facing your reality because a lot of times we have a hard time facing reality, let alone in just a normal day. You know, sometimes we just unpack things, but we hide things and we don't be accountable for things and we don't face the reality of things because we want to just continue to move forward. However, if you continue to move forward of different things and you're not unpacking it and you're not releasing what is very important for you to move forward, it's going to hurt you in the long run. And you will use those tactics and different emotions and different things onto your relationships with um, a, a partner or even friendships or different family members or maybe even your children, you could unpack it on them and it's not even their fault. So it's like, I really had to start journaling about my feelings and talking to people or mentors or friends or even therapists where I could have like different helpful outlets where I felt comfortable talking to people. I started off journaling though, because journaling was more of like a secret for me. But as I went back and read different things in my journal, I needed a response for certain things because I can't just be saying this and nobody isn't telling me the truth on 
what I really should do with me feeling this way. So that's when I end up finding a therapist and you go to a therapist and talk to them and it makes you feel really good with doing that. And also just doing so much for you because when it comes to grieving, people on the outside, they some are selfish purposely and some are selfish unconsciously because Sometimes people think because you're moving forward in your life and you're not showing that you're grieving, they don't think you're grieving. Or if you they see you enjoying life or you moved on to another relationship or something, they say you move too fast. You can't you can't determine my timeline. And that's when people start to butt themselves in your business when they're not being genuine about it or considered about it or not knowing these are some ways where you can heal or they don't know what certain people have done for you for you to continue to move forward in your life and they don't understand the things that you go through on those nights when you are alone so you have to be mindful of people that are grieving and you have to be mindful of when you're grieving and you deal with people that aren't considerate and they're not mindful of the things that you are going through and a lot of times when people started to get that way towards me i distanced myself from them and i may not even talk to them again honestly because a lot of times those type of people if they said it then they're going to say it again eventually and it becomes very triggering so you don't know if you just go slap them or you don't know if you're going to say something to them and they're going to take offense of what you're saying because they're really not understanding what you are going through or what you went through because they haven't actually felt it and went through what you went through or sometimes people may have went through the same thing as you and they do understand you but some haven't went through what you went through to a certain extent or a comparison because they're not realizing that our griefs are different. So it's a lot of things that come with that. But when you go through things like that, you have to prioritize your self care, your self care to make sure that you are actually getting it. It's easy to consume by work and prioritizing rest nutrition, and even time for yourself and stencil. And small acts of self-care can actually be like different morning routines, meditation, going to the gym, quiet reflection, reading a book, and just um, being like staying grounded as far as having a mental resilient. And you don't know how important that is until you actually do it. And doing it is like the most amazing feeling that you could ever have. And I really, really pray and hope that you guys will learn that and understand that and actually do that. Because a lot of people, when when you have grief, it doesn't necessarily mean you, you're losing someone to death. You can lose a job. You can lose a business. You can lose um, a friendship with someone that you've been friends with for years you can lose a relationship with someone you can take many losses in many ways and it will gear back to you actually grieving and it need and you will need some help actually unpacking to actually become back into your normalcy of your life on a daily basis when you deal with something like that because some of us love hard some of us um really make mistakes and sometimes we don't do things purposely but i really hope that you guys will take that into some sort of consideration as well and set realistic goals um setting realistic goals is like so important um, during times of grief, it can be like very important and you got to be like gentle with yourself and set 
like smaller goals and make them like make sure they're manageable too because sometimes you can set a goal that's just so far-fetched and it's to a point where it's higher than what your expectations can be at that very moment because you should really just take your time it's no rush it's it's no rush at all but however if you take those small steps you'll be amazed on how big it can end up becoming once you keep going and it helps you a lot on becoming a better version of yourself because sometimes you you could just fall behind like so so bad just not doing nothing at all so that's why i'm saying like doing the small things it it really matters a lot and also like it's pretty cool to surround yourself with people that understand your journey when it comes to um grieving and provide like some sort of encouragement and emotional support um which is kind of hard too because me is hard for me because oh, when it comes to grieving sometimes i don't want nobody to throw it back in my face <laughs> i just don't so that's that's one of my things when it comes to me actually having that support system and having different things of um having people understand me but just reconnecting with my purpose and that's something that i'm doing right now my purpose is having this podcast my purpose is continuing to run my daycare business continuing to run my studio where i podcast at continue to help help other people that want to start a podcast continue to help people that want to start a daycare just can me continuing to help people and be that servant to people to be able to accomplish their goals and everything. Me helping people helps me. It makes me feel really good that I know that I help someone because, you know, that's where your blessings come. You have to genuinely do it and be passionate about it. And I am one of those individuals. However, even at the same time of me grieving, I also want to give people hope when it comes to that i want to give them faith as well because having faith and continuing on with your life after experiencing something that i experienced which could have put me in a dark place in life um some people weren't or aren't able to continue to move forward in their lives and they will lose any and everything that they had and it'd be hard for them to come up out of it Lo and behold, I still struggle every now and then, but usually my struggles come like now in the month of October. This is the month I lost my mom. However, when the date of her passing, it's like I just be at ease sometimes. But then again, as time progressed, then the the month is coming up when my husband passed too. So I had to relive certain things all over again but what i am noticing is i grieve before their dates because sometimes i'll be thinking like why can't i sleep why can't i get this task done at the daycare today like what is stalling me why am i like dragging about it or um during that time with the kids why i can't be here why do i feel this way why do it's just i deal with so many emotions but now it becomes so frequent and so consistent to a point oh okay reality check check in the date is coming that's why i'm acting this way so i find different things to help me cope with these things so that i won't let it define me and i won't let it actually hurt me in the long run for me to not continue my entrepreneurial journey because it's so important and also just reconnecting with my passion and purpose and just my drive of reminding myself that it is a bigger picture beyond my current pain and i have to keep going all the time and i have to keep continue to inspire other people so I want to always encourage you guys to keep going. Like, 
it's it's always a possibility and it's always a way for you to get out of that dark space it's really just about you on what you want to do and how you are going to do it it's okay to reset and reboot and restart and start all over again it's okay to rest it's okay to pray it's okay to do a lot of things that involves self-care for you to continue to move forward and for you to feel better about yourself you have to always put yourself first your feelings first your emotions first and also make sure you have that support of people that you can talk to in that moment so that they can encourage you and push you to continue to move forward and seek professional help if needed and celebrate those small wins even though you're in the midst of grieving you will find yourself being blessed at the same time and those celebrating your progress no matter how small it is it's just during the hard times acknowledge your efforts and you can build yourself in self-confidence and reinforce like your beliefs within yourself and that matters a lot you it, and it goes like extremely far but mainly it's just leaning on faith man i'm telling you faith prayer or whatever spiritual practice that can provide your comfort and even just guidance of like during the times of your grief but you have to trust that there is a greater plan and a piece of the midst of like your daily struggles or monthly struggles or whatever that'll help you and continue to move forward and i want you to continue to move forward don't let anything stop you don't let that cancer stop you don't let that grief stop you don't let a friend stop you don't let a boyfriend or a husband stop you a wife stop you a girlfriend stop you don't let nobody stop you from absolutely nothing because you have a purpose here your purpose has nothing to do with theirs they have their own business and their own things to mind on their own you just mind yours and make sure that you're good it's okay to cut people off it's okay to eliminate things from your mental you know it's a lot of things that that involves pain that has transpired in your life it's okay to remove those feelings and emotions and all of that just it's okay to remove it it's okay to be happy it's okay to go towards your happiness it just know that you matter more than anything because what i have learned is life is short and a lot of people will play with yours and just let them play with their own on their own time because making sure that you're good ain't nobody gonna make sure that as much as you want it to you have to make sure that you are good at all times because sadly a lot of people just don't care that's just a sad reality however the ones do care cherish them and spend that time with them be ask them are they okay you know they're asking you you can ask them too ask them how they're busy doing do you need any help do you need assistance too you know it's it's okay to still have someone help you and you help them as well just make sure it's genuine make sure it's just flowing the way it's supposed to go and everything will be good you know but running a business and doing both at the same time it takes a whole new type of superpower it does and you could get to a point you could either lose everything or you could leverage off of it and you can you could you could change so many lives when it comes to it because people will find you so uplifting and inspiring and you could give them hope you know because sometimes they never see anyone go through something and come through something so you got to come through and but before you come through you got to make sure you are good and that is something that I wanted to let you guys know that when it comes to entrepreneurship, don't 
don't be so hard on yourself. Regardless of the timeline, you still going to make it. You still going to have faith. You still going to be successful. You still going to make that sale. You still going to get that brand deal. You still going to sign that contract. You still going to get that sponsorship. You still going to get a lot of things. It's just it's on hold right now. But as long as you continue to make yourself better, as long as you continue to make your business better, even behind the scenes, and be transparent with yourself and be honest with yourself and hold yourself accountable about you and conducting your business and your surroundings and everything that comes with it, everything will come together. Believe that. Blessings will start to pour out like it ain't nobody's business. And that's and I'm waiting on my moment too. You know, that moment gonna come. It's just I'm, I'm celebrating my small wins right now, you know, celebrating your small wins and being appreciative of things. Be, it's, it's so many things. My small, One of my biggest small wins is, you know what it is? Waking up every day. God gave me breath this morning. He did not let me sleep for the rest of my life. He did not take me away from my family and friends that love and care for me, you know? That, that's a small win. And sometimes we don't look at those small wins. But, you know, another small win is having a car, having a roof over your head, having food in your house. These are small wins. You got you to gotta appreciate those small things. Just, just knowing you have a business that you can run still through it all, it's still going. You may not be getting the money that you want, but it's going to come, but it's still going. You didn't lose it all completely. I know that feeling of losing it all completely. That's, that's some, that's something vicious. That's a grief itself, but you know, I didn't give up though. I'm still going. I went on to the next, you know, and I want you to do the same thing. Just always know the, them small wins, don't miss out on them. You can't miss out on them because you never know. Because sometimes we, we think the small wins is something else. When those small wins have to do with you and your personal life of yourself. So I want you guys to always remember that while you're running your business and you find yourself grieving at the same time. Be appreciative of life because you only get one. And enjoy every moment of it. And don't let nobody play with it. If they do, remove them too. I'm, I'm a big fan of removing. Big fan. <laughs> but that's what I want to leave y'all here with today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Life Her Podcast. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Life Her Podcast. And listen to Life Her on all major platforms, on the audio platform. And make sure you follow us on any social media networks when it comes to Instagram, TikTok, all of that. Just come follow me, y'all. I really appreciate you and God bless.